Hello everyone. My name is Krishna Galatia and my topic of presentation is effects of heat treatment on the microstructure and mechanical properties of ASTM A36 mild steel. So basically what I'll be talking about is the effects of heat treatment such as annealing, hardening and tempering on the ASTM A36 mild steel. The main topics that are covered are um, changes in the mechanical properties like tensile strength, hardness, yield strength, Young's modulus and the reason behind these changes. Also, I'll be talking about the changes in the microstructure of the specimen after undergoing the uh, different heat treatment processes. All right, so let's go to the next slide. Okay, so let's start with the changes in the mechanical properties. When the specimen is subjected to annealing process, the ductility of the material is supposed to increase, whereas the internal stresses are relieved. But that comes at the cost of hardness. Um, the main reason for the decrease in the hardness is the um, slow cooling rate. Um, because of the slow cooling rate, the carbon content in the material gets enough time to react with the oxygen and thereby decreasing the carbon content. Next is hardening process. Uh, in the hardening process, as the name suggests, uh, there must be increase in the hardness. The, uh, this increase in the hardness is because of the quick cooling rate. Uh, so the carbon content doesn't get enough time to react with the oxygen and so it gets trapped inside and forms martensite. Also, we can see that there is a noteworthy increase in the tensile strength and yield strength uh, in the hardening process. Normalizing process uh, doesn't show much change in the ductility, but uh, it increases the hardness of the material. Whereas the tempering process provides uh, toughness to the material, but that comes at the cost of hardness. Um, now let's talk about the effects of heat treatment on the microstructure. Okay, so the microstructure of the untreated steel has two main constituents that is ferrite and perlite. As you can see in the figure, the light colored region is ferrite whereas the dark colored region is perlite. Um, when the specimen is subjected to annealing process, the ferrite grains undergo complete recrystallization. Due to the slow cooling in annealing, austenite is transformed to soft perlite and also mixed with uh, ferrite or cementite, which increases the brittle length of the steel. The uh, normalized sample showed that uh, there were too many short graphite flecks surrounded with patches of uniformly distributed perlite grains. In normalizing process, the cooling rate is fast. Therefore, ferrite and cementite are formed in very less quantity, thereby the brittleness decre decreases. In hardening process, the faster cooling rate um, allows martensite to form directly from the austenite and due to the rapid cooling the microstructure formed is hard which results in an increase in the tensile strength and hardness in the microstructure of tempered specimens highly recrystallized ferrite grains with some secondary graphite site was observed also the micrograph shows that the microstructure of tempered sample consisted of a number of carbon particles precipitated out from the matrix um, that concludes my presentation. Thank you.